the left hand side is a tan inverse function having two under root terms 1 plus x and 1 minus x and the right hand side is pi by 4 minus half of cos inverse x we are also given that x belongs to minus 1 by root 2 to 1 so we start here by assuming x is equal to cos 2 theta now we know that uh, cos 3 pi by 4 is equal to minus 1 by root 2 and cos 0 is equal to 1 so the domain of x uh, which is minus 1 by root 2 to 1 can be written in terms of 2 theta as 0 less than equal to 2 theta less than equal to 3 pi by 4 or 0 less than equal to theta less than equal to 3 pi by 8. Now from the assumption x equal to cos theta we can find 1 plus x which will be equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta and this is equal to 2 cos square theta. Same way 1 minus x is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta which is equal to 2 sin square theta. Substituting 1 plus x and 1 minus x on the left hand side we get tan inverse of root 2 cos theta minus root 2 sin theta divided by root 2 cos theta plus root 2 sin theta. We can take root 2 common in numerator and denominator and then we can cancel it out giving us tan inverse of cos theta minus sin theta divided by cos theta plus sin theta. We can divide both numerator and denominator by cos theta giving us 1 minus tan theta in the numerator and 1 plus tan theta in the denominator. So substituting tan pi by 4 equal to 1 we can change it to tan of a minus b format where a is equal to pi by 4 and b is equal to theta. Replacing this by tan a minus b formula and further simplifying we get pi by 4 minus theta. Now note here that theta belongs to 0 to 3 pi by 8. So this pi by 4 minus theta belongs to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 which is the principal branch of tan inverse. From the assumption x equal to cos 2 theta, we can substitute theta is equal to half of cos inverse x, giving us the answer pi by 4 minus half of cos inverse x. 